Recently Wild West updated and now you can play the Wild West on your consoles. Yes, now the Wild West supports consoles. Also a mini update came which brought the Thunderstruck bear. In this video I will go over how to find it and speak about the features of the console update. Wild West is now on consoles. Yet mobile players have not seen the light of day in the Wild West. Anyways for the console players, they can now press the center button to enable virtual cursors. And inside the settings menu there is a new setting which allows you to change your sensitivity if you are on console. I believe it's a good idea to increase the reach of the Wild West. Like the progression and Halloween updates are right around the corner and having a different player base. Excluding the PC stance would be beneficial for the game. Anyways, the console version does not provide additional benefits, but they do get a cool weapon wheel unlike the PC players. And it looks similar to Westbound. It will be interesting to see console players cracking 90s inside the fort now. Now for the Thunderstruck Bear. It is a bear which has been hit by lightning, leading to it becoming a Thunderstruck and Bear. Thunderstruck Bears also drop a rare pelt known as the Scorched Pelt. And judging by the background of the item, you can figure that it will have a hand slash use inside the 2023 Halloween event which actually has been confirmed. Make sure to subscribe because my next video will be on it. Anyways the pelt most likely I believe drops every time you kill the bear. Also there's no specific path you need to follow in order to spawn it. The only way a thunderstruck bear can spawn is by it being struck by lightning. And the odds of that happening are pretty slim. I do have a strategy you guys can use to find the bear faster which I'm going to explain in a bit but before for that, let's understand what is required for it to spawn. Firstly, I believe it must be a public server. I'm not sure about private servers because the update is pretty new. Also, the bear only be struck by lightning if it's raining inside the server. No random thunder can happen without rain. So if you're hunting a thunderstruck bear, I would recommend to increase your rain settings in the menu. Afterwards, you just have to wait till it rains and be lucky enough that the bear gets struck by lightning instead of a cactus or a tree. You can take the patience route of waiting for the server to start a rain or the smart method. Basically for the smart method, I want you to join a lot of servers. Join servers and if you see it's raining inside the server, wait there and hope it thunderstrucks a bear. You should also increase your volume level so you can hear the thunderstrucking. If you do know with certainty that a thunderstruck bear spawned in your server, now you must find it. There are 13 bear spawns inside the wild west, 4 bear spawns in bear paw valley, 2 spawns in pinewood hills, 1 spawn in the whispering summit and 1 spawns in the buffalo ridge. 3 spawns can be found in tribal forest and 2 more can be found in the forest cavern. Bears inside caves can be eliminated so you can forget the bear spawns inside any area. For example, the bears inside the tribal mines are useless to focus on because they spawn inside the cave and they can't be struck by lightning because they are inside of a cave. You can figure the rest with your common sense.
Anyways, after you find it, just simply kill it and get the pelt. I recommend to use a hard board and if you're too poor to even afford that, check out my latest video on the new best grinding methods inside the wild west. And boys, let's try to reach 1500 likes in the celebration of the new update. I know you guys won't let me down. In front of you, there are two videos right now. And YouTube thinks they are part of your interest. Now it's your choice on which one you're going to watch first.